Do you want to add your SharePoint Online to File Explorer? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. I will show you how to sync SharePoint Online with your PC. If you're watching this video, it means that you already are interested in using SharePoint on your PC and syncing it somehow to your Windows Files Explorer. You need to remember that there is a great web-based functionality available on SharePoint Online to manage the documents, but there is good chance that you have good reasons to work with your files using just your PC and features available there. Today it is not that common, but if you are boomer like me, Probably you will prefer to work with your files using your files explorer and then manage these files easy way. In this video, I will show you how to sync your files from multiple SharePoint sites, from OneDrive to your local PC and what kind of features you will have available there. You will see there is no that big difference between what you can achieve using web-based functionality and what kind of features will be available for you on your Windows PC. Again, I'm a big fan of working with files exactly this way. I will show you a few examples when it could be also useful for you. And before we will switch to my screen, I want to remind you, if you would like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. And now we will move to my screen. If you would like to synchronize your SharePoint Online files to your local PC, you will have that possibility available out of the box, straightforward in the user interface. You need to remember that not everything could be synchronized to the local PC from perspective of the SharePoint Online. We cannot sync the site itself, we can just sync the document libraries which contains any kind of files or data. The reason behind it, we cannot sync lists or events or sites itself, but documents are something that is handled proper way by File Explorer in the Windows PC. If you will open your document library, you will find two elements available on the top. First of all, you can add the shortcut to OneDrive, which means you will add additional shortcut to your personal OneDrive, which will navigate to this library. And in case you are syncing already your OneDrive account to your local PC, this space will also be synced there. But the element I would like to recommend you is possibility to sync just this document library. So let's use that button you will get the information that your files starting to be synced in the OneDrive. You can get also additional notification about that and in the background, the files will start to be synced to your local drive. And from SharePoint Online perspective, more or less that's everything you need to do. So you can see it's very easy to bring the data from SharePoint Online to your local PC. Now let's see how it will work on your local drive. After you will sync your data from SharePoint Online to your local drive, in the File Explorer you will see additional elements. You can see already I'm using personal OneDrive to sync my data, but also the Office 365 version and here you have the additional component which contains the name of the SharePoint site plus the library which we are using. Inside it you can see what kind of files are already available online and the data is synced to your local PC. What is great about it, you have here almost one-to-one -one functionality with the way how the collaboration works online. If you will use your right mouse button on the file, you can see that you can decide if you want to keep this file always on your drive or free this space up and just download the file when it is necessary. On the other hand, you can also get the possibility to share this file directly from your local drive, open it in the web browser 
or check the version history. Let's try to do that. The new window with the version history will be open and you can restore, download or delete previous versions of the file. This is super useful functionality if you're working with the files for the longer period of time with other people. Another element which you can do directly from your local PC is to share this file with other people. This is exactly the same experience which you will get on your SharePoint online. So users will not be confused what's happening here. In the other video on this channel, you will find exact instruction how you can share the files using SharePoint online. So let's skip it for a moment. And the most important element, you can also open this file and collaborate with other people who are working in the very similar way, syncing the data back to their local PC or working online. This is great functionality, especially if you're working on the document with multiple people at the same time, like preparing the offer or proposal. This is great functionality that you can use. Moreover, you can see making this work is very, very simple and all changes that you will do on the file will be also saved automatically on the SharePoint Online. Plus, you have the possibility to work offline when you're traveling based on the version of the file hosted locally, which will be synced back to the cloud as soon as you will be back online. You can see syncing your data from SharePoint Online to File Expert in Windows PC is quite easy and straightforward, especially if you're using Windows 11 and you already have the OneDrive set up on your PC. Functionalities available on the local PC are very straightforward from perspective of what SharePoint Online offers. You have the version history, you have the permissions, you have the co-authoring and collaboration with other people at the same time. Plus, you have the possibility to work offline with your data when you're traveling and you don't have access to the internet. This is the functionality that could help you a lot, especially if you prefer working with the documents directly on your PC rather than through web browser. You can imagine if you have multiple SharePoint document libraries which you need to follow and work there, having them synced in one place, in one location could be super useful. In the past, I was working with the large team when all of us were collaborating and the same documents some of people were using web browser, some of people like me were preferred to use local drive and the file explorer to do that. One more thing which could be very useful for you. You need to remember that you will find the people in your organization that will not be that open to the modern collaboration based on the browser having their data sync to the local PC could be something that will move them to SharePoint Online without telling them that they really working on SharePoint because they will work on the local files. This is huge advantage, especially when you're starting with the adoption of the new solution and you have the people that will not be that open to the web experience. Try it, play with it, it's very easy and it could make you very happy if you prefer to work in the file explorer with your documents. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode.